You hear all these stories all the time, these horror stories about prison. This is not a good situation. Now, upon getting to the prison, I did get dressed and I did have to get naked. Welcome back to Prison Stories with El Situacion. The title of today's segment is First Day In. And my first day in, I remember my drive in. I said, listen, honey, I want to go live on the way to prison. And she's like, you want to go live on the way to prison? I'm like, I don't think anybody's ever gone live on the way to prison. And technically, I guess I'd be a pioneer in that fact. <laughs> so. We agreed that we would go uh, live on the way to prison. Um, me and my wife woke up that morning and um, you got dressed like any other morning. But my mindset on the way to prison was, wow, I'm really going to prison right now. But I had a sense of security that no matter what was going to be coming my way, that I was going to be able to handle it. It was a three hour ride or three and a half hour ride. I was not nervous. I had sort of a, a peace with myself because hey, you're going to prison and there's, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. Um, it's, it's time to put up or shut up because at this particular time, I had no idea what I was walking into. You know, you hear all these stories all the time, these horror stories about prison, um, about the fights, about the bad food, about the bad sleeping arrangements. Um, barely getting to see your loved ones. This is not a good situation. And as I got closer to facing those fears, I kind of just remember just being like, this may not be comfortable, but I will survive. Upon my arrival, you start to realize that it's not like the movies, okay? I went to Otisville Federal Correctional Facility in upstate New York for eight months. By no means is the food any good. By no means is the sleeper arrangements any good at all. You're very uncomfortable. You miss your family. Being away from your loved ones for one day is unacceptable. And for me, eight months was almost impossible. I just married my beautiful college sweetheart and now, now I'm in prison. I remember telling myself, wow, um, you're really gonna have to, to be strong here. And that was the case. You'd be amazed what you can accomplish when your only option is to be strong. I would tell myself, wow, you've been assigned this mountain to show others it can be moved. And this mountain I'm speaking of is sort of like your own fears, your own self doubt, maybe some past mistakes in there. Um, and um, at the end of the day, you have to take accountability and responsibility. You're a big boy now and it's time to face the music and that's what happened. Now, upon getting to the prison, I did get frisked and I did have to get naked, but the process actually wasn't as painful as really was in my mind. So that was sort of a good situation. It was very quick. I did it really um, quickly and I was able to get through that. When I entered into the prison right away, a lot of my concerns were put to rest because it sort of was, um, it reminded me of, of sort of like a military camp. Um, a lot of the inmates were freely walking around and um, there wasn't any cells, which made me feel good. Um, as upon entering into general population, the Jewish communities handed me a welcome bag. And that means that someone sort of had looked out for me um, and entering into the community, uh, they handed me a bag full of pillows and blankets and chips and Doritos and tuna and sort of things that, and socks and things that you may need that you don't even have. Because when you go into prison, you have nothing. And I was lucky, I was able to get a welcome package from the uh, Jewish communities actually and the Italian community. Um, so I got two packages when I got into prison, which was a pretty cool situation because I was loaded up. When I say communities, that means when you go to prison, there are almost cliques that sort of run the prison. There's the Spanish community, the Jewish community, the Italian community, and everybody in that community sticks up for each other and really looks out 
for their own. And something to note, this pretty much happens for everyone that comes in, the guys really look out for each other. And the reason that you have nothing when you come in is because everything that you need, socks, underwear, let's say Doritos, a pack of tuna, uh, anything to cook, you have to buy from commissary. And you're not allowed to really buy commissary for the first couple days until you sort of get processed. So that's why when you first come in for the first couple days, you have nothing. And it's very important um, to sort of get your affairs in order and have your money transferred into your account or your prison account so that once you get in there, there's really not much of a, of a lag time um, for you to get everything that you need. So I, I was very lucky that I was very well liked in prison and um, a good rule of thumb is to sort of give respect and you will get respect back. Overall, my first day in prison was actually uh, pretty uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, um, my mind sort of hyped up things more than it really was. And it, prison is something that I believe with the right mindset, you, you'll be able to survive and maybe even become a better person um, if you work at it. Thanks for watching Prison Stories with El Situacion. Until next week, guys. We got a situation. Share, like, and subscribe.